everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I thought I'd film my everyday makeup for you guys. So I'm just going off to uni, so I thought I'd show you guys how I do my makeup for uni when I do wear makeup. So some days, most of the time I do wear, but some days I'm just not bothered or I want my skin to recover or, you know, I've had like bad skin or whatever, so I just won't wear makeup. But when I do wear makeup or if I'm just going out for lunch on the weekends then I will put this simple makeup on so this isn't like my going out makeup at night time I can film that separately for you guys this is more of like a daytime look that I do pretty much um, most days or every day so um, I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in almost a year but if you guys enjoy them then definitely give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want me to film anything else um, but yeah so let's get started so first things first, I'm going to prime my face. So I like to prime with this Glamazon Beauty by Kim Baker. I don't know where this is from. My sister got it for me, um, but I'm sure you can get it online. My most important step is my like primer. When I forget my primer, it's like the worst. Like you just feel like nothing is going to sit right. The whole day is going to be weird. Like it just makes sure everything is like perfect, but this is running out. Also, this is in shade one clear, so I don't use like a tinted primer so I rub it in all over like a moisturizer and then I literally leave it to like soak into my skin for a few minutes and usually when I'm waiting for that to happen I'll like put on music or reply to messages or whatever so the primer that I use for my night routine is different because I kind of want a different texture I want to say to my skin at night time so when I go out, so I use a different primer. So yeah, my night routine makeup is completely different to my day routine makeup. Next I grab my concealer. This is NYX in Fair. And I literally just put it over blemishes or under my eyes. And I don't put a lot. So I kind of went anywhere that's a bit red or has like a blemish scar or something. I don't put like a lot um, underneath because I tend to go over and do the whole highlight and contour so I don't need a lot of concealer to begin with so it doesn't matter if that's fixed in like blended in properly because it's gonna blend in when I put on my foundation and my foundation is in shade 06 medium beige and it's the NYX stay matte but not flat foundation I love this and I'm also loving the NARS one um, I'll show you guys that when I film like my night routine because I use that in, more in the nighttime than I do in the daytime because it's a bit heavier coverage and I want something a bit lighter for the day. But this is really good for any of you guys who have oily skin because I have really oily skin. So I literally put five dots like that and I dab it all over my face and a bit on my neck and I just blend that all in. <laughs> So now that I've blended in my foundation everywhere, I grab the same concealer and I literally go under my eyes a little and I go up the center of my forehead, over my brow line and down the middle of my nose. So these are like the concealer lines that I draw and then I kind of like the sponge of this. This is the um, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer and I think this is in shade 1. So it's like the lightest shade. I like literally twist it the tiniest bit but I use it to kind of blend out this concealer a little. So that when I use my beauty blender, it's not like in straight lines, it's kind of blended out already. And then I just grab my beauty blender and then I blend this all in. So my technique for the beauty blender is I literally just dab multiple times very fast and like little dabs and I don't mind going over like the same spot a few times just to make sure it's fully 
like blended into my skin before i used to use like makeup brushes and i'm like now i look back i'm like how it was so cakey how did you use makeup brushes for this so i literally only use makeup brushes for my contour and bronze and blush now so basically either powders or like really thick heavy creams i use but everything else i have to use a beauty blender Then I grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. This is in the color chestnut and I just draw contour lines. So I go from like the top of my ear kind of down towards my mouth line. So you can kind of see your natural contour lines when you look in the mirror. That's what I try and follow. Let's see if that's symmetrical. And then I kind of like to draw like one higher line as well just because I like to give that whole inward effect. And then either side of my forehead. Down the bridge of my nose, at the tip and then under my lip. Then I grab this Real Techniques round, I think this probably is like a powder brush or a foundation brush. Um, they're not like the best quality but they're not the worst either like I've had this for like a year or two years even um, it's just that the hairs sometimes come out so be aware of that but for £10 it's good, it does the job So now that that's all kind of blended out, I know my nose still looks a bit like, whoa, but we're gonna work on that. It always looks like this to begin with. And then I look normal-ish, I'd like to hope. So I'm just gonna grab the tiniest bit of concealer and just go down the side of my nose here and this side, so like that. I'm gonna blend that out with the Beauty Blender, but like the sharp edge. And then I grab the flat edge and I literally just go over my contour lines once on this side, once on that side and dab. And that kind of gets rid of like the harshness of it. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows now and this is the NYX um, eyebrow pencil in chocolate. It is literally like such a perfect dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow pencil and it really does the job well. So let me zoom you in even more now. So I literally draw a line under my brow. And then a line on top of my brow. Kind of like that. So that's like the outline of my brow. And then I will do the same on this side. So I outline them both. By the way, guys, you know it's daytime in London. Like, this is terrible daytime lighting. It's so grey outside. I'm so jealous of people who live in, like, LA and, like, Australia where they always have sun. Okay, so this is, like, my outline of my brows. I know it looks a bit crazy, but now I'll just use this kind of to... No. Then I'll just use this outline to fill in. So I just do like really small strokes inside my brow. And that's kind of like how I do it. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And these are my brows. I hope that they're symmetrical. And it's really hard to tell in the tiny mirror if you've done them symmetrical. 
I feel like this one looks a bit higher. Oh well, okay. Next, I'm gonna grab my powder. You guys are gonna realize, by the way, from this tutorial that I literally love NYX. So I use the Stay Matte But Not Flat powder under my eyes, and this is in the shade Nude SMP02. And I grab the Zoeva brush in 105 Luxe Highlight, and I literally just blend out under my eyes. So that's the powdery bit. And then I grab my bronzer brush. This is my favorite bronzer brush ever. And it is the 101 Lux Base Definer Brush by Zoeva. And I literally bought the whole brush set from Zoeva. Like it was like 15 pieces and it was like 120 or something. But I really found it helpful. It allowed me to like play with shadows more. Whereas before I kind of had like two brushes and all my eyeshadows would come out so terrible. So I really like recommend investing in like a brush set so you are more playful with your brushes my eyebrows are looking really unsymmetrical i feel like in your key i've done this one too high i don't know we're done with it now okay and then i grab my bronzer i love this bronzer it's in the shade medium by matte and it's the matte bron uh, sorry by nyx and it's the matte bronzer and i just wave it around once and i go over where i've contoured so I like to go like this Then I grab my blush again by NYX and this is in the shade Baby Doll. This is quite like a strong shimmery pink colour. The camera's not focusing but it's like a really strong shimmery pink colour. So I literally just do like one dab inside and I guess this side because I don't want it to be too, you know, harsh. 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 Um. Yeah, it's already too harsh, but it's fine because I end up blending it all out and you guys will see. Then I grab... What do you grab, Seppi? What do you grab? My eyelash colours and I curl my lashes. And then I grab my favourite mascara and this is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Reloaded in shade Double One Black. Double, double Zero One Black. Extreme Black, basically. It's, it's the darkest shade they have. And I just brush up and down my lashes, upwards and downwards. Try and separate them out. And I just do the top lashes for now. And the reason why I only do the top lashes first is because I'm about to put powder all over my face. If I have mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm putting powder everywhere, then it's just gonna mess it all up and it's gonna look terrible. So now I grab my highlighter. This is uh, again by Glamazon Beauty by Kim Baker. Simon got this from me. I don't know where she got it from. I think she got it from America. And it's in the shade 1 Golden Goddess. And it's a cream highlight. And I really like it. I use like, what do I use? I use like a flat eyeshadow brush to put this on. And I will first do like a really simple line down the center of my nose. And a little bit on the tip so I like to like bring it all the way onto the tip and then I dab it out with my finger and then I do the same with my top lip and that's like the petite kind of um, highlight bits like the delicate kind of highlight bits and then I put some on my finger and I just dab my cheekbone that is enough for the highlight then I grab my sheer loose powder this is by makeup forever I bought this when I was in Milan and it's the ultra HD 
a micro finishing loose powder and it's tiny but i got this like in the end like the first week of august when i was in milan and it's still like half full so it's it's amazing how much it lasts i shake it a little so that much comes out and then i grab my huge powder brush and i literally just oh i hope it doesn't go on you guys brush it out and i brush out my forehead and it all just makes sure that your makeup stays in place doesn't move and kind of blends out everything so that it's not like very blocky if that makes sense then i go back in with my mascara and i do another layer on the top and a layer on the bottom so those are like my top lashes and then i just do the bottom lashes as well So that is the end of the mascara and we are gonna finish with lips. I have a few lip liners that are my favorite and if you look, they all pretty much follow like one theme of color. Um, yeah, they're all like one color theme. So um, I'm just gonna read them out to you because I get so many questions. So from NYX, I use Soft Spoken, love it. Um, this is another Soft Spoken backup. This is another soft spoken, as you can tell it's my favorite. And this one is Copenhagen. This one is London. This one is another London. So London and soft spoken, I use a lot. Oh, and last one, nude suede shoes. I haven't used this in ages. I tend to stick to soft spoken. Oh, this is another new one, Beijing. It looks like a pinky color. And then for a MAC, I have nice and spicy, boldly bare, and then from Oh, this is another NYX. This is Coco. This is when I do a dark outer line and then like kind of contour my lips in. And then from Rimmel, I have Addiction. I used to use Rimmel lip liners a lot more, but now I just love NYX ones. As you can tell, you guys, I love NYX makeup. Um, so today I'm going to go with one that I use probably often. So I'll probably take Soft Spoken. So it's kind of blunt, but oh well. So what I do is I line around my lips. So that's my bottom lip and then my top lip I just do the same I just go over the line of my actual lips and then sometimes I like to just leave my lips at this sometimes I like to fill it in further so today I feel like I feel like filling it in further so I'm gonna grab this uh, lipstick it is honey beige by maybelline and it's kind of like um a velvet teddy by mac but it's like a creamier wetter finish all right let's just put this all over and here we have it this is the end of my makeup look so this is my natural everyday makeup i don't mean natural this is my not heavy everyday makeup let's zoom you guys in further I feel like it's kind of a clean finish. Um, what does that? What am I even saying, you guys? I can't even chat. Um, oh my God, I'm so zooming in. Hello, welcome to my beauty. Okay, so this is how I look, like from a normal distance. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that I was good at showing you guys my everyday makeup. I don't know, I'm so used to vlogging now that I feel like I feel weird doing like a normal video. I don't know, it sounds weird. But anyway, I hope that you guys have a blessed rest of the day. I hope this makeup helps you slay your day, and if you don't wear makeup, then I hope watching this put you in the mood to slay your day and have an amazing, successful day looking and feeling fab and you don't need makeup to look and feel fab but if you like to wear makeup okay stop Seppi you guys know what I'm saying you don't need makeup but sometimes putting on makeup will make you feel fun fit and powerful and um 
yeah, I hope that you guys can see how I do my daily makeup. If you guys want to see my evening makeup where I go more with like shadows, eyeliner, a much more bolder contour and bolder lip, then let me know in the comments. If someone comments it, just all of you thumbs up the same comment so I can see that there's quite a few of you who want it or just thumbs up this video and that will be helpful. And I can also show you guys how I like curl my hair and pick outfits and stuff too. So if that all sounds like fun to you guys, then let me know. And of course, subscribe so you can join my little YouTube fam. I'll be so happy to have you guys. And that is pretty much everything I have to say. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked in the bio, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is The Persian Bunny. And my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. I hope you guys enjoy. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.